All right, I'm currently on the phone with Jay. He's another musician that reached out about the interview series. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the chance to introduce himself. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm uh, Jay Windecker. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario. Um, I've been doing a project called Ivory Iguana. Excellent. Um, uh, we'll definitely get into that. But uh, for the beginning, I always like to kind of figure out um, you know, how you first got into music, uh, what was it about music that, you know, made contact with you? Was it an instrument or, you know, a song? How did you first, uh, you know, find music? Uh, so I grew up in kind of, uh, the early like grunge era and, uh, kind of post grunge, um, alternative era. So I just really loved listening to music as a kid. Um, I played sports and stuff like that. And, once I kind of got attracted to music, like my entire brain shifted and it was just go, 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 let's play music. So pretty well. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I went with things. Um, I wanted to play guitar or bass or whatever. And, uh, I was about, I think seven or eight years old. And my parents were like, well, you can play a ukulele at school. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I did that. I joined, uh, the ukulele band in school and it had four strings. So naturally I thought, ah, why don't I buy a bass guitar with whatever little money I had from chores and whatever else. And I bought a bass and learned how to play it. Okay. So, uh, ukulele was your first instrument. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Um, and so, uh, to kind of recap what you went through there, uh, you, you grew up listening to like kind of contemporary, uh, grunge, uh, type music. I'm going to put that somewhere probably mid nineties. Um, and that was kind of the motivational aspect to kind of push you into looking for a way to participate in music, which eventually led you to the ukulele. Is that, is that all kind of sum that up correctly? Yeah. Which, which is funny. Cause, uh, you know, I eventually went from grunge and alternative more into like the metal scene and stuff like that. So, you know, it's pretty funny trying to play, you know, breakdowns on a ukulele. <laughs> sure. It's a, it's a natural <laughs> progression. Um, okay. So you played ukulele in school. Is that like, uh, with concert band or jazz band? Uh, tell me a bit about that. No, it was just like, uh, I'm like talking about like, uh, elementary school. So it was like, we had, um, the choice, it was you either could join the choir musically or you could join the ukulele band. And if you join the ukulele band, the choir was in the background. So you had to sing anyways. Mm. So, <laughs> okay. It was, yeah, it was good. Awesome. So, um, you mentioned that at some point you moved from ukulele to bass. What was that transition like? Uh, the transition was pretty good. Um, I bought a short scale bass, um, as like, I was pretty young at the time. So maybe, I don't know, 11 or 12 years old. So I wasn't very big. Um, so I bought a short scale bass and, um, you know, just started learning how to read tablature and stuff and, you know, started out playing stuff like silver chair and then got into like Pantera and stuff like that and could play a little bit of that kind of stuff. And, you know, kind of progressed as the years went on. Okay. Um, and then at what point do you think that you kind of went beyond the tabs and self-practicing to the point where you felt like you wanted to start playing with other people? Um, I would have been probably, I played with my first, um, quote unquote band when I was in middle school, I just did like a, a three song show with a band, um, and played bass for that. And, um, I actually kind of, once I was out of middle school, I kind of, um, I moved out really early. I moved out when I was 14. Mm -hmm. Um, so myself how to play acoustic guitar basically out of necessity just so i could make money on the street corner <laughs> okay and, so um, you spent some time busking then oh yeah totally okay. for for a few years and um yeah that's basically when i found like my love of guitar was just being out there and instead of you know what i mean going to lessons and stuff it was like well i'm getting paid to sit here and practice for hours and it went really well like Sure, uh, did that definitely and, uh you know a trial by fire for sure yeah no no doubt and then you knew if you sucked too because if people <laughs> walked by and they were like oh like you know this guy's crap but it was like it started out like that but then it would get to times where people would actually stop and and talk to me and be like hey like why don't you you know play in a band or something and it's like well i'm kind of uh in between places to live and stuff and this and that and just traveling across the country so it was like you know that's like I say, you're, you're, you're exactly right. Trial by fire. And, um, 
I eventually came back, uh, this way to Hamilton. And, um, I, that's when I got into like my first band playing guitar and I played in, uh, a lot, a lot of bands over the years. I've done everything in bands except for play drums. So I've played guitar, I've played bass, I've sang for a bunch of bands, whether it's actually singing or, you know, metal style screaming vocals and stuff, but. Okay. And I assume those have all been uh, some sort of touring and recu- uh, recording type scenarios in each of those different projects. Yeah. So done a lot of, uh, done a lot of recording. Um, the only band I really toured with was, that was notable um, was uh, from here. I don't know if I should mention them or not, but um we, we, we did a couple tours here and toured across Canada and then they toured the States and stuff after I wasn't in the band anymore. Okay. And then, uh, the rest of those, uh, projects that you're a part of, was that kind of more casual kind of just getting together in the garage, seeing what makes it comes of it kind of thing. Or? No, we, we always played shows. So it was like, you know, whether it was just like the kind of Southern Ontario circuit, like at the time it was like, um, um, if you're playing, if you're from like Hamilton or Toronto area and stuff like that, you'd basically play Hamilton, London, St. Catharines, Toronto, um, Oshawa, Peterborough, um, Ottawa, like that would kind of be like a little bit of like the circuit. Um, so in, in any band that I was really in, we, we played those circuits for sure. It was just, um, I was in one or two other bands that, got a little bit further than that. Okay. So tell me how, uh, you transitioned to what your current project is. It sounds like that's kind of, uh, the project that you're committed to. So give me some information about that. Yeah. So, um, you know, unfortunately I was, I was, um, playing with a a band, um, from the Niagara region. Um, and we were, we were doing quite well. And unfortunately I took sick. Um, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't scream like my, my vocals had really kind of gone away. Um, uh, yeah, it's just, I got kind of a weird medical situation. So, um, yeah. So basically as I, um, you know, just started kind of jamming around playing on my acoustic guitar and doing whatever I could at home. Um, I started thinking like, well, what if I could turn some of these like kind of like acoustic things that I'm doing? What if I mess around with like a full band scenario? And, um, yeah, once like the, I finished the first song dreaming awake, it was like, wow, like this actually sounds pretty good, like as a full band. So for right now, it's just me. Um, I do have, um, a friend that did, um, the program drums, uh, for me and, um, he produced, uh, the two songs that I have released for now. Um, like I can play drums, but not, not that tight, you know what I mean? So it's like, I basically played kind of what I want on like a demo. And he was like, Oh yeah. Okay. But he's like, you know, computer genius. So it was like, not, not too much for him to add drums. Sure. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah, I'm just currently working on, um, a few more songs that I can hopefully get released by December and, uh, the plans to do like five more for next year. So, okay. And so tell me about what the plan is for after that. Once you have the album recorded, released, uh, are you thinking of doing like solo shows or getting a full lineup together? What, what do you see as the end goal for your project? Um, so with the, with the kind of music that it is, it's like, I can kind of, I can dumb it down enough that I could play and sing, um, the songs like on like acoustic guitar. And if I do that, I have a friend that's going to play acoustic bass. Um, so that we could do like, you know, some smaller, you know, kind of coffee house type shops and stuff like that or shows like that. But, um, as far as like the full band scenario, I've been talking to some musicians and I think it's going to come to fruition, but it'll probably be around, uh, January to March of next year. So that's kind of like the plan is if we can get to that point and, uh, we'll start booking from there. Okay. But it is in the plan down the road to do like a full lineup, contemporary rock band kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Awesome. I've, I've um, been keeping that under my hat though. So <laughs> you, you guys are hearing it first. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, there's so many challenges that go into that and getting people together and keeping bands together is always a nightmare. So, um, all I can say is uh, best of luck, and I hope it does work out. Um, 
but yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Well, so it sounds like you've been through a lot through, you know, learning, um, you know, ukulele and transitioning to bass and then spending time out on the road and also busking for a period of time. Uh, to get you to where you are. What are, you know, some of the most prominent memories that kind of stick with you to keep you motivated and kind of in the zone? Um, I don't know. And just like, um, you know, being, uh, being young and dumb and touring and stuff was amazing. But, uh, you know, it's like you look back at it after, you know, 15, 20 years and it's like, man, I wish I knew then what I know now, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it's just, um, I think I'm always going to have that fire to play. Um, It's just a matter of what style of music I'm going to be playing and with who, and um, you know, like, uh, like it's one's kind of, it's kind of my baby. It's my own music. It's my own thing. It's something that I wanted to kind of release, you know, for myself and hope that people like it. But uh, you know, I've still got uh, other tricks up my sleeve. I think I still might, uh, end up popping up with another heavy project here and there all right very cool um so uh once all of that is uh released and everything uh where can people find you do you have stuff out there that people can check out now yeah so basically like um uh if you go to linktree.com slash ivory iguana um it basically pulls up everything that I have. So it would be like uh, Spotify, Apple music, uh, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. I did do a video for um, dreaming awake. It's pretty good. Um, was a friend of mine um, was like, man, he's like, I really love this song. He's like, can I shoot a video for you? And I was like, uh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, that's available on uh, YouTube and stuff like that. So I got a Facebook and an Instagram um, under Ivory Iguana. So if anybody wants to hit me up, go ahead. Awesome. That's great. Um, All right. Well, so I always like to give the person I'm interviewing the opportunity to put out uh, their last word. So a message you want to throw out there that you feel you resonate with. Um, I don't know. Just uh, like, you know, don't give up on stuff. Like if if you want to get back into doing something that you feel like you wanted to do years ago and kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, like do it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there's only so much time in your lifetime to uh, put things out there and what better to do than, uh, you know, record and release something that's going to be online for potentially ever. So, <laughs> you know, get it out there. Enjoy yourself. <laughs>